everybody welcome back to the cabin another day of milling this is a larch that I cut down yesterday um, from just behind the camera over here along with the dead spruce beside it I needed to take well so the dead spruce was right here and then this larch was right here and then there was another couple of mature pines here that I did not want to cut, cut down in order to get this spruce out, it wasn't going to fall unless this one was taken. But I already had my eye on this one anyway. Because it's nice and straight. It was really tall. And a good um, di diameter. So that I could use it for the uh, lower timbers to go underneath the outhouse. And then the upper section can be used for the bottom course of the log cabin. So this would be too big like for the cabin. This is what? 15 after the bark. That, that, well, that's the end I'm going to use, yeah. So from there up will be the cabin log. What's this end, though? So that's 20 inches at the butt, and I did cut it off, off the ground about that high because it really flared out where the roots start. Um, so what did I say? 15 inches there. What I'm trying to get, I'll have to figure it out. It doesn't have to be like a number one with perfectly square edges, but I need four six by sixes or six by eights out of this depending on well, I won't get eight so it's a six by sixes we'll see I want four six by sixes out of it so that I can get all four sides of the foundation of the outhouse a larch is a, a lot more uh, rot resistant than most of the other woods other than cedar cedar would be the only trees that I have here that are more rot resistant but they're not as strong and as structural as the, as the uh, larch so I'm going to give it a shot with this mill. The mill's only a, what, a 29 inch. So there's enough clearance, but not tons. So I'll get this cut into squares and then figure out exactly what the dimensions of the the uh, timbers are going to be. I think it's this is 5 feet long and the outhouse is 5 by 4, so it'll be fine. Anyway, I might have to switch the blade. That blade's starting to get dull from all the milling I did yesterday, so I might have to put a new blade on there. And... Uh, get through this harder wood and then get back onto the cedar pole. This would be by far the biggest log or uh, you know the thickest log that I've ever milled. You know I'm not sponsored by this mill company. I bought it last year. They did give me a bit of a break on it but mostly because this was a demo. Gave me a, a, a discount but a slight discount. I don't even know what it was but anyway um, the main advantage to me was getting this this uh, sort of floor model is that it was already pre-assembled. You can see there's so many bolts in here. Apparently it takes like two days to put the thing together. So I was grateful that that was uh, offered to me a big time saving. Plus the trailer kit. I don't think I paid for that. So it was nice to be able to take it from the old cabin to here. And to a couple other sites where I was cutting stuff. So, so I think what I'll do though is get this set up permanently, get it off the wheels, get it set up on something more solid, on some uh, timbers like a foundation, and uh, get it perfectly level and straight so it doesn't move at all. Maybe right here and then build a shelter over top of it and get burned. 